Hello, this is Haka Dabin, and today we are going to be reading SCP-281. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Item number, SCP-281. Object Class, Safe. Special Containing Procedures. SCP-281 is currently contained with the maximum security storage locker, or 18E on level 7 of research, well query, and containment in Site 76. SCP-281's lithium ion battery pack is to remain plugged in to the site's main power grid unless used in testing. Necessary cables have been supplied and are stored with the object. Because of the nature of the object's anomalous properties, testing on SCP-281 is to be authorized by level 4 senior member or, or research staff have currently assigned to this project. The class as personnel used in testing are not to be formed of the nature of, of SCP-281. That is always very fun to see. Let's keep moving on. Description. SCP-281 is a makeshift device measuring approximately 25 centimeters by 35 centimeters by 20 centimeters. Built into the device is a high-capacity lithium ion and laptop battery to provide power. In addition, the object incorporates a variety of components from such diverse sources as a Philips brand alarm clock, a digital kitchen timer of unknown make and model, an NEC PC 8201A portable computer, and a USB keypad brand unknown. Attempts to reverse engineer it have thus far not yielded any significant results. SCP-281 is currently not believed to be a functioning as intended by its creator. SCP-281's effects become apparent when the following tasks are performed in the correct sequence. 1. Subject sets an alarm using the alarm clock interface. 2. Subject waits for the alarm to sound and presses the alarm clock snooze button. The depression of the snooze button triggers the creation of a localized temporal anomaly around SP-281. The area affected is a spherical field with an approximate radius of 6 meters. Centered on SCP-281 and exited SCP-281-1. Personnel and items outside this anomaly are not affected in any way. How the device creates a temporal anomaly is unknown at this time. The kitchen and timer component of SCP-281 will display 9 o'clock when SCP-281 281 and 1 is created and begin counting down. Or I guess 9 minutes. Setting the kitchen timer to any other amount of minutes or seconds prior to activation does not appear to have any effect on SCP 281's functioning. <sighs> Within SCP 281 1, time passes at, an, at a highly increased rate with 9 minutes lapsing, lapsing inside it compared to approximately 1 millisecond outside. From the perspective of those inside the temporal anomaly, time moves at an all rate, while outside of SCP-281-1, time appears to have effectively stopped. This effect is similar in nature to the Wonder Zoom feature of SCP-2445. While no link between the creation of these objects is believed to exist, Examination of this documentation, it was further insight into the nature of paratechnological or temporal distortions. Subjects within SCP-281-1 can move around within its, within its limits, but attempts to have subjects cross from an active instance of SCP-281-1 into an area beyond its influence have invariably resulted in subjects undergoing massive and acute cellular disruption along the lines separating those parts inside and those outside of SCP-281-1. 
A similar effect has been observed on subjects and objects brought into an instance of SCP-281-1 from outside its area of effect. It has been it has, has proven possible to move SCP-281-1 by transporting SCP-281 to a different location while active. But any materials, biological or otherwise, immediately suffer a mass failure and molecular disruption as described above. Any more organic material present within SCP-281-1 when the device is activated is subject to normal biological processes over the period of time that elapses inside SCP-281-1. To those outside of SCP-281-1, no time appears to have passed. If subjects present in an active instance of SCP-281-1 have moved during the period of time SCP-281-1 was active, they will seem to have teleported to their new location. As the time reaches zero minutes and zero seconds, the alarm sound once again, and time inside and outside of the instant ends of SCP-2811 are instantly resynchronized. Due to the abrupt nature of this event, subjects inside SCP-2811, when the nine-minute period expires, suffer effects resembling severe decompression sickness. No treatments for that condition have been proven to be equally effective in, S in treating SCP-281 subjects. Addendum 281A01 Recovery and Preliminary e containment Notes On a redacted date, a remote monitoring station picked up encrypted transmissions emanating from a location in the redacted mountains. After decryption, the transmissions were found to be reporting progress on a project referred to as Full Circle, and SCP-281 was secured by a Foundation Airborne Recovery Team during a raid on a fortified Hiker's Cabin. The device's creator, a 36-year-old African-American male, identified postmortem as redacted, exhibited an erratic and aggressive behavior when encountered. No evidence exists of an affiliation with any known group of interest or other organization. So someone made this. I guess they just needed to wake up, and this was a really effective way to do it. I mean, being stuck in a temporal anomaly will probably wake you up, and also the effects of decompression will probably help get you out of bed if they don't end up ending your life after. Anyway, that was SCP-280. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!